In this session, I'd like to talk about dialog maps, sometimes called IBIS diagrams. The idea of a dialog map is to, to slow down a conversation and capture what's exchanged between the participants of that conversation in such a way that, that everything is, in fact, captured. All of the perspectives that are surfaced are captured in an orderly manner and people get an opportunity to present their their pros, cons, and questions about those ideas. So while there are only four individual entities that that make up the the dialogue map, you can have a question. In response to a question, there can be an idea or another question. In response to an idea, you can have an argument in favor of that idea a argument against that idea or another question and in response to the arguments you can have questions so that's the sum total of the structure for a dialogue map and it's i found it rather amazing the power of actually employing that in a, in a rigorous fashion because what it does is it as i said it slows down the exchange and, the, and all of the perspectives are captured, all of the, of the different par participants, so that ev everyone feels as though they were actually got a say in the discussion. Everything, in other words, things weren't just put off to the side and, and not considered. All of the thoughts that were presented in the discussion or argument, if it happens to be an argument, are in fact captured in such a way that you can go back and look at them and consider them. Now, from a Kumu perspective, creating the dialogue map is, is extremely easy. What you're looking at is sim simply a, a, like a mind map, though what I did was I went ahead and added some some uh, decorations to the elements and the connections and created a legend for it so that, that the root idea is larger than the rest and, and there isn't a root idea defined in the dialogue map convention but I thought it was a good idea and then I went ahead and defined question idea pro and con by using types so that if you look at agenda notice the agenda none of these have comments to them though the nice thing about doing it in in Kumu is that for any of the individual items that are part of the diagram in addition to the labels you can add a extensive background about that particular entity that's on the diagram so for the agenda it's a root the questions are are not questions the the ideas are typed as ideas and the questions are blue as questions now notice that see all of these different once i use them once they're all there and defined so that if i were to create another item then i could simply come here and select and say that that is another idea and then it's automatically colored. In terms of how this was done, if you use Alt-S, you can look at the perspective for this map and you'll see how the, the, the layout was done, how the, the bullseyes were created, the curvature so that I end up with straight lines and the connection sizes are eight. This is the definition of the root question. And if you want to go ahead and use this in and create your own dialog maps, once you display this with Alt-S, you can simply copy it and, and then display it and paste it into the perspective file for the diagram that, that you're creating. In addition, to, well, and here's an example that was that was pulled from one of the references I offered you a couple of articles that were written about dialogue mapping 
There's also a book written, but uh, these two articles should be quite sufficient. I put the references here in the the Kumu map itself, and they're also as external references for this particular lecture. So the, the idea is that you begin with an agenda, you surface the ideas, which is very similar to the way that you go about doing um, a mind map, in that these are the ideas related to this agenda. And then you walk through, and for this particular idea, there was a question, there were a number of items, a number of ideas with regard to that question. For this idea, there was a question, there was an idea, there were a couple of pros, a couple of cons, and then there was another idea down here relating to that idea. So, And there's a couple of more examples like this in the reference articles. The I chose to put arrows on this pointing back to the item which preceded it, but I don't think the arrows are actually necessary. Um, it, there's only one connection. It, there's a one-to-one -one relationship between one item and another. Um, so, um, and if you're drawing from an item outward to another item, the arrow would end up going in the wrong way anyway. So I, you know, if I did this diagram over again, I'd probably just leave the arrows off of the connections. So that's the idea behind dialog maps, which, as I said, are very easily created in Kumu. And I hope you find them useful. Bye.